That's right. You know, of course, the top priority is reopening the port of Baltimore, but that cannot happen until we get this bridge out of the water. They're going to do that with that crane you see over my shoulder here. This is one of several that it'll take to get this done. And then if you look out to the water, you can see we have a view of the vessel in the bridge surrounding it. The Unified Command today finishing assessing what all is in the water. The Unified Command addressing the Key Bridge cleanup Friday. We need to do more work clearing the channel to move forward. This is a remarkably complex operation. As divers wait for safer water conditions for their recovery mission, the focus has shifted to clearing the Patapsco River of the Key Bridge in order to reopen the Port of Baltimore. One of the largest cranes on the East Coast is already here, able to lift a thousand tons. Meantime, crews are out on the water assessing the wreckage. With a salvage operation this complex and frankly with a salvage operation this unprecedented, you need to plan for every single moment and every time you take action to move a piece of wreckage, you understand that that requires you to reassess the situation. The U.S. Navy is supplying four heavy lift cranes. Two have arrived. One more will get here Friday night. The fourth comes Monday. In the coming weeks, a few more cranes, 10 tugs, nine barges, eight salvage vessels, and five Coast Guard boats will go into the water. Right now, teams are figuring out how they'll cut the fallen bridge into pieces to then be lifted out with cranes. Once the channel is clear of bridge debris, the cargo ship will be next before removing the rest of the debris from the water. When you look over our shoulders at the bridge and what's left of it, you'll understand why this city, this state, and indeed our nation cries at this moment because we can never replace what was there and we mourn the people who were lost there and that will forever be a reminder to all of us. Still no official timeline as to when we may see the port reopen, but work continues. Crews are out there navigating everything from electric wires and to high winds. We won't have an idea as to when debris cleanup will start until the official assessment is finished. Of course, we will keep you updated, but for now live in Sparrows Point, I'm Tommy Clark, WBIL TV 11 News.